I had an attitude that may have contributed to the fact that I didn't have an appetite. Hi, you got, where's my cover? Today is Tuesday. What do I have on the agenda for today? I just thought I'd give you guys a rundown of what I have going on today because for a very, for all of last month, honestly, I haven't really been vlogging that much because I had so much going on. Like there were so many moving pieces that I just could not um, get, and maybe I could have if I tried a little bit harder. But I had a lot going on. I still have quite a bit going on right now. But it's way less than I did a month ago. So what I have on the agenda today, I just had breakfast and everything. My hair is basically ready. I'm basically ready. <clears throat> I packed a sandwich and some shrimp alfredo that Mr. made last night, which was really, really good. Initially when he cooked it, I wasn't, I don't really have an appetite. I had an attitude that may have contributed to the fact that I didn't have an appetite. And so I didn't eat it right away when he asked me if he should share it. And then afterwards, I went back and like ate some. And it was really, really good. So I just packed it away, put it in the fridge, and did the dishes. I literally have the um, container. So right now I have a container that I, the pot that I made um, the sandwich in on the stove. And I'm going to wash that before I leave. It's 7.02. I have a lot of time to be completely honest. Because I could leave here at 8 o'clock and still be good. Yesterday I left at 8 o'clock. But I kind of want to get there early to just go over my book one more time to do this final exam. After we finish it, oh, yesterday, the most exciting thing. Yesterday, I actually drew blood with a multi-sample needle. That's one of the biggest needles. So amazing. And I had tried the butterfly needle, which is the smallest one sometime last week, which is the one that phlebotomists are most commonly using based on what or lecturer said. So that was very great. So like it was such a it was such a good experience. And I feel very confident in just the fact that I can go out there and do this. Obviously, whenever you go to work, people are gonna train you or whatever. So that was great. Moving on to today. Today, what's on the agenda? Final exam, go to Brooklyn. Um, have to make a few phone calls regarding my lady. Hopefully she's doing really good today so I can come home early down now but um it is what it is but I wanted to make sure that I brought some food with me just in case today is not one of her best days and I can't leave early today's definitely a rainy day it's wet outside but it's not raining at the moment so obviously it rained earlier so that's fun not really if you guys know me you know I don't really like to be outside when it rains so if it's raining and I have to be outside I'm annoyed but today I'm not really annoyed I'm just going with the flow of things here you know so yeah, there's that. My air conditioner was delivered yesterday. They did not play me, thankfully. When I was 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, I was like around the corner when they texted me and said that it was delivered. So I was pleasantly surprised when I came and it was sitting on these steps in front of the apartment. So great. So I just put it inside and left it in the foyer until Mr. came for him to bring it upstairs because that thing was too heavy and I just would not have attempted it. And then, um, I got the Apple Watch, um, yesterday, the Series 7. So now I'm waiting for them to ship the, um, kit. Because they actually send a kit. Every time when I get my new phones, I always ship it back in the same box. Print out the shipping label. And then afterwards, they send a literal return kit. Like a box with everything on there and everything already. So this time I'm going to wait. And then they said after I get it, I have 14 days to send it back. So hopefully that comes today or tomorrow. Don't know. So we just have that waiting and um, yeah, that's basically it. Today I want to work out, but I don't know because I'm not wearing my scrubs today. Today I'm wearing clothes, okay? So I don't really know how that's going to go. Hey, Siri. Hmm? What is the temperature outside right now? It's 39 degrees outside. Oh, I hate the sweater. So maybe I'll wear my trench because a couple of days ago it was really nice. So. Maybe I'm gonna wear my, my trench. Maybe I'll definitely wear a long sleeve. 
but that's basically all I have going on. I have a lot of time on my hands right now. My hair's already done. And you know, once your hair's already done, baby, you're ready. <laughs> so that's great that I don't have to worry about that. I mean, I knew from yesterday that I wouldn't have done it. Yesterday I came home and I slept and then I slept with my bonnet on and last night too because I knew that I didn't want to get up this morning and have to deal with that. So, yeah, I think that's really all. I took my vitamins, I prayed. Those are um, daily reminders that I have going off like as soon as I wake up to pray and take my vitamins and a lot of things like that. So we're on the right track here. But I'm going to start um, getting myself together and packing all the things that I need to take with me today in my bag because I need to take like little snacks with me. I mean, I have the shrimp alfredo and the sandwich, but I wanted to take something else with me just so I can snack on it in the event I'm there until late, which I'm praying to God. She's doing good today and I don't have to be there late. I'm going to text the girl that was there yesterday to see how she was and when she was leaving so I can hopefully just leave. But um, yeah, that's all that's going on right now. I was watching... Oh, I was watching some YouTube videos, so I have my phone in the little phone stand. But, um, damn, I gotta wash the dishes. I'm gonna wash a few little things that I do have in the sink, and then I'm gonna get ready to leave and everything. So, I'll see you guys whenever. We're not making any promises here, because as we know it, I'll say one thing, and that just does not end up happening for whatever reason. But I'll see you when I see you. Hi, y'all. So today I'm gonna make a banana bread. I hear my sister talking about it all the time that I have a famous banana bread recipe and I don't be making banana bread. And she also was telling Mr. that at one point I would make a banana bread every single week. And she's not wrong. I did used to. But you know, sometimes I really have to be in the mood to do some of these things. So from yesterday, I was, yesterday I was sitting down and I said, you know, I wanna make a banana bread. So I put it in my calendar for today and I also did set a reminder for today so that I could remember to make it. Right now, it's 10.45 and I have all my things set up to make the banana bread. So I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, I need some raisins too. Yes. <laughs> Good for you! Because I would have been mad as hell if they were in the sink right now. So this is all my stuff. So I have flour and sugar here. I have banana, two eggs, milk, banana, two eggs. Um, vanilla extract, oil instead of butter, because I just don't feel like using my good butter to do this, <laughs> and milk, and I always put raisins because I absolutely love raisins. Let me show you guys the recipe. I know. Guys, you hear this? I made some food. He goes to work and he tells everybody that he made it. That is very... Where they do that at? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to... I'm probably going to screenshot the recipe and put it on the screen here so you guys can see or I'll I, You know, I don't like saying that I'm going to link something in the description box because honestly I always forget So I'm going to screenshot it and put it on the screen so you guys can see it So you can try it if you want to and like I said, I always add raisins. No raisins are in my recipe Maybe I should add that just now too when I was um I just edited the recipe because I had a cup of sugar on there and honestly I'm trying to cut down on like the sweet and stuff like that and I'm gonna have raisins in there so I put it to half cup but when I gave when I gave Joe the recipe I told her that you know use less sugar so it's not as sweet so I just used half cup of sugar and the other day when my mom asked me to I don't think I told her to just use half cup but I don't think she made it either so I can always just tell her to use half cup. So I'm gonna make the banana bread and I was gonna use some almond milk just now but I'm like, I've never made it with almond milk before and while I don't think that it's gonna taste terrible, I like things specifically. Call me OCD if you will, but I like things specifically. So if I make this banana bread and it does not taste the way how I'm expecting it to taste, I'm gonna be so mad because I haven't been buying any banana because the last time that I went to the doctor, he said that my potassium levels was a little bit high. So I'm staying away from the things that could cause that. So because of that, I haven't been buying any bananas. So that's all the banana I had and I had those frozen in the fridge for a while. No. So I don't have any more and I'm gonna be mad if I mess up the recipe trying to use almond milk. So I changed my mind. And I forced myself to put all the ingredients out. That way I didn't change my mind because I already didn't feel like doing it. That's like too messy of a process. It's a little bit too much for me. But now that I have everything in containers already, I'm gonna have to make it. So. I'm going to do that and uh, hopefully I remember to show you guys when it's done.